Welcome back. It's that time again where you ask the questions and we answer them. This is Ask NC, where the NC actually stands for Natalie and Charlie. But today we have a very special guest, Russell James. So he will definitely go answering some of your questions too. Looks like the theme for this week is the holiday season and weather. Getting right to question number one. Here we go. Comes from Michelle's Southern Home Cooking and Living. She asks, what is the main course for your Christmas dinner and do you eat it at lunch or supper? We do prime rib and we'll be doing it for supper. You go first. For me, like whenever it comes to the Christmas season, I love cooking casserole dishes. So oh. like everything from green bean casserole to spinach and artichoke uh -huh. dip to um, also like a, a nice ham as well. Um, okay, yeah. But, uh, it's, it's very hard to like find a really good ham um, like once in a while. So like for yes. me, I might do honey baked ham this year. Oh, that's like a classic. So it kind of depends on which day am I celebrating Christmas. Is it Christmas Eve or Christmas Day? Because Christmas Eve, we're very, very big on seafood. We do like the lobster bisque, and then my mom makes this like bomb, uh, big stuff shrimp that will just knock your socks off and you'll be eating it for like the next three days afterwards. Um, and then she also makes like a variety of other things, but I just usually just pig out on the baked stuffed shrimp. And then on Christmas day, we usually go out to my aunt's house and she does make this big prime rib where she'll put like latex gloves on and then she'll just butter the heck out of it. And then my uncle, he does this, um, this like fruit cake thing. He's originally from Holland, and so it's very much like part of their culture. He will like set it on fire, mm -hmm. and so he'll bring it over to the table, and it'll be like flaming and stuff. And then once it finally goes out, I don't know if he has to do something to make it go out or if it just goes out on its own. He has this like custard and stuff. So, and then we can't forget about Grandma's amazing Christmas cookies. But we do dinner. We don't do lunch because usually, if I'm at my uh, aunt's, we do the Italian antipasta, and we pig out on that. And then the next question is a super sweet one from Deborah Pollard asking, what is your favorite Christmas memory? You go first. For me, my favorite Christmas memory would have to be, I was uh, six years old and um, I'm, I'm trying not to laugh thinking about it. Well, Santa Claus has scared me. Santa, really? Yeah, yeah it was uh, one of those situations where I was in front of the tree and I was uh, trying to figure out what gift I wanted for Christmas. And um, the thing about it was, I guess Santa Claus at the time did not like, didn't uh, I guess forgot yeah. um, that I was uh, I guess like I was I forgot what I was doing in particular but uh, he kind of came from behind he snuck and up he on snuck you up on me and, it, and it caught me off guard and <laughs> yeah it terrified me certainly but it was a it was a funny memory because there's a picture that my mom has of me kind of like really freaked out screaming and screaming and like Santa Claus is, I guess is trying to calm me down a yeah. little bit that was a funny moment for me I was again I was six years old so I mean it's, you're a little it's older than the typical but I will say last um, Christmas season I was a photographer for Santa set and there's something about parents that just they love the screen screaming pictures like these kids would be screaming bloody murder sitting on Santa's lap and they'd be like just click just click but um, I think for me one of my favorite memories is when um, I was younger and like all my siblings were actually together for opening the gifts on Christmas morning and stuff and you know you get older and everybody's so separated and all over the place and then also um, my grandpa was quote unquote one of Santa's helpers and so he would go dressing up every single year and um, he passed a number of years ago so Christmas is a little different without him but that's definitely a memory that I will never forget. And then moving on to question three, this one's from William Allen. He asks, what are Gigi's favorite Christmas treats? So Gigi is a little fat butt, she will eat anything. She loves food but she technically does have an allergy to chicken. So all her food and her treats have to be salmon. But what about Coco? For Coco, she loves um, my stewed chicken and rice that oh. I try to, that I make. I make it every Christmas season as well. Wow. And um, every time that I have it, like she wants extra gravy and like the extra drippings and so forth. Like this is real human food that you're giving her. Yeah. Oh, Gigi. It's, it's the only it's the only time of the year that I do it. Gigi needs to come over your house. You spoil your dog. I guess I'm a slacking parent compared to you. <laughs> Next question comes from William Smith. It is a weather question for Russell. He's wondering, when it's cold at night, why does it seem the lowest temperature readings usually occur before sunrise? Thanks and Merry Christmas, guys. Well, that is a really good question. I think part of that is because like when you reach sunrise, you're reaching like, I guess it's something to do with the calm breeze. Mm -hmm. And then maybe the temperature sensor as well, um, I believe is why the temperature usually reaches at lowest during a uh, mm -hmm. before sunrise. And the sun's gone too, so things are kind of not dealing with the direct heat and all that. So, yeah. 
fun question right there. And then here's another one for Russell coming from Marvin Bronoa Richardson. He's wondering with last night's storm, do you think it is pop? It was possible to see snowflakes mixed in. I'm just curious because I thought I saw some snow and he actually went sending us a video that we're going to go sharing with you so you can see exactly what he's talking about. And he's wondering, what is the verdict? Do you think you it can. is snow? Sometimes when you have a very strong uh, weather system like we did last night, mm -hmm. it's not uncommon as we're getting really cold air rushing in. If you have super cold uh, like snow flakes or raindrops basically up in the atmosphere, mm -hmm. it can punch through that warmer air and it can yeah. fall as a little bit of wet snow. Mm -hmm. Any hail in the mix, you think, too? Maybe a little bit of grapple as well, too. But okay. that what I saw, that was actual snowflakes falling. So cool. Very nice, Marvin. And he actually has another question for us. And he's wondering, what is one of the biggest wishes for the upcoming new year? This one's for both of us. Russell, you could go first. I say, you know, for uh, 2024 is, you know, have, you know, better, happier days ahead. Of course. Um, Amen to and that. And then, of course, uh, just, I don't know, like. Happiness for all. Um, I think this year is like, I just want to kind of check some things off my bucket list. Yeah. Too. Like yeah. actually go on some nice fun adventures. What yes. about you? Oh, adventures are awesome. Definitely, I hope that the world kind of gets happier and you know not so many wars and stuff go conflict rather all across the globe. Um, for me, I want to be able to finish my weather certificate. I was supposed to actually graduate from that program this month, but sometimes life happens and you end up pushing things a little you know to the side and whatever. So next December is kind of the goal. Um, and then definitely traveling. Who doesn't like travel? I'm right there with you. And then I've come to the conclusion that you can't really go making plans because life has a mind of its own and likes to give you lots of surprises. So I guess we'll just have to see what's in store for 2024. But for now, we're in 2023, so let's just live it up. And that's going to do it for today's questions. But if you have a question that you'd like featured on next week's Ask NC, Please keep a watchful eye as to when submissions are open on my Facebook page, Natalie G. Parsons. Here's a little hint, hint. It's usually Sunday night into Monday morning. Next on ENC at 3, it is the holiday season, and I know the travel part is already on the brain. We have some holiday travel tips for you right after the break.